Hi guys, this is kind of my first video for what I want to do with this channel. Uh, I was searching internet for these power banks. Uh, I just found out that they are very expensive for no reason because they are just glorified batteries. So, like I'll show you right now the cost of these power banks. You can see that even the cheapest ones are around 600 and 700 rupees. That's not worth it. So, why don't we make our own power banks uh, which would work? the same as these are but they are also uh, kind of uh, uh, replaceable and uh, cheap batteries will be used the batteries which we use on, on this wall clock which are around 5-10 rupees uh, but for that we need to know the voltage that is given to our mobiles from our wall chargers and in this charger uh, you might be able to see or you won't be able to the camera is unable to focus but it's uh, 5 volt DC uh, output and it's uh, around uh, 800 mAh so we have to maintain the nearby range uh, using four of the double size batteries will give us around uh, 6 volt that can do uh, now for this to work uh, we'll require one USB to micro USB cable which I am having most probably right now we have found a couple of them but uh, in both the cases the uh, USB the main USB section of these wires are not working properly so in our case it would be fine because we will cut it off and only require this uh, micro USB section of the wires. We will be using this wire for our project uh, and now we need uh, to cut the wire but we will keep it for later because first we need to uh, our place to put the uh, these batteries and connect the wires. So keeping aside I am having an old this uh, RC controller it's all busted up but uh, as you can see the battery section is pretty good. Only the, the sixth battery section is uh, uh, not uh, proper, but we only need four of these, so yeah, it's not a problem. Now we'll need to open it to access all the terminals and all. Uh, now I've opened up the uh, this controller itself, and uh, here you can see that there are two wires attached to two terminals. That is this black wire and the red wire, uh, but they're arranged in a manner that they can access all the six cells. But on, we only need uh, four of them, so we'll uh, disconnect this red wire and connect it back to this terminal uh, so that uh, uh, we'll get access to the first four cells I have attached the wire and taped it up over here so that we can access the power of these four cells uh, through these two wires now it's the time to cut our micro USB to USB wire to attach it to this controller terminals uh, so that we can uh, give power to the wire uh, guys there are some changes in the plans actually the cable which I was using is not quite working so I will be using another cable from my extension cord uh, extension it's actually a USB extension cord uh, here's the uh, female USB port and here's the male USB port so I will be cutting this cable and I will attach this port uh, to this uh, controller as you guys can see I have attached the cable to this uh, female USB port and now I can attach any cable to it uh, now I've attached it and I'll screw back the cover uh, so that it looks complete. Here guys I've screwed back everything and here you can see the cables coming out from one of the places where analog was and uh, this is the controller. Uh, the best part is you can not only charge your smartphone but any object or, or use it for any purpose which requires USB because it's outputting around uh, 6 volts of uh, current uh, at uh, about 1000 mAh pace. So it would uh, do proper fast charging and all sorts of stuff without any problem. Now this is a moment of truth, I'll be trying uh, this on this SS phone. Uh, as this is a female USB port so I can use any of the cables, USB to micro USB cables I'm having. Here I have attached a, micro, a USB cable to my charger and it's already working. So if I plug this cable to this smartphone you might see that it's charging. Here you can see uh, clearly that phone is charging. And uh, for the proof that I am not faking it, I will show you the complete cable, it's connected over here and it goes all around and then it's connected back to this USB port which goes to my controller and this controller works on 4 USB batteries. Uh, so guys, uh, don't try to use 6 batteries because some might think that more batteries equals more fast charging but that, will, that might end up destroying your phone. This is the perfect amount and uh, it would be a good idea to use resistor to uh, limit the charge to 5 volts because that is the um, uh, amount of charge most of the phone support uh, but here 6 volt can also do and uh, yes it's working so it's a huge thumbs up so 
I'll see you in my next video. Uh, in this case, the charger is working, and it literally costed me nothing, or near about nothing. Only the charge of the battery. And so, hope you guys liked it. I hope it helped. And uh, see you in the next video.